How to create menus in WordPress Elementor step-by-step. Step. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with building menus in WordPress Elementor. So let's get into it. Now to get started, the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to firstly create our menu and then we're going to set it up in Elementor. So to do this, the first step that you have to do is to go into appearance on the left and then go into menus. Now, once you go into appearance under menus, you're going to see your default menu and you also have your menu locations. So you will see I have a standard menu with menu items and we can click on view all and I can add these menu items from the left and I can click on add to menu. Now, like this, I have added these menu items into the menu that I have. We can also include our blog posts. We also can add custom links and our categories in our menu. But I will add my blog post in my menu page. Once done, I can click on save menu. And once I've done that, I can view my site and this will probably be integrated to the top like this. Now it's time to customize this because we want to elevate our menus. To do that, we are going to go into our pages on the left. And firstly, I am going to delete our default sample page. So I'll just click on trash over here and I will do a quick edit for the Elementor 9 page. And I will rename this as our home page. And I'll also add the page gnome, uh, the page slug as home, and then I'll add the parent. So this is going to be the main page. And this is going to be default template. And then I'll click on update over here. Now, if I go into appearance and menus, you will see that your pages are going to be updated and the invalid menu item will also be displayed. You can click on delete to delete that page and you will see your home page as well. So. This is our home page on our Elementor menu. Now, this is our standard menu that we're going to stylize in Elementor. So to do that, we're going to go back into pages and we can click on edit with Elementor to open up our page on Elementor. Now, On the top, you're going to see your menu as a standard menu like it was displayed previously. You can open up any page that you prefer. But for this, we're going to click on command L or if it doesn't open up like so, we can go into the left panel where we have our settings, styles, and borders. And we can go into our theme builder. Now, once you go into your theme builder, you're going to click on header, which is basically going to show you how you can integrate different themes into your header. Now, this is a premium feature on Elementor, and it's not something that you can really customize for free. So for free, you can see that on the pro version, it has things like these headers and uh, all these other items. But if you search for menu over here, you can see the menu is locked and you can click on upgrade now to upgrade this. However, if you still want to do some level of customization, you can always exit and use a Elementor template because when you use a template from Elementor, by default, even if there are premium features included, those will be applied throughout your site. So if I go back into my standard editor, you will see that the standard editor is just going to display the page as is. Now for this, what I'm going to do is I can go into plugins. So what you can do is that you can actually take some third party plugins. Now these plugins allow you to unlock premium Elementor features. So Elementor premium like this, and there are a lot of different tools like shop Lentor. So if I search for shop Lentor, you will see that this is a plugin that specifically allows you to add free, you know, WooCommerce based features as well. Now, if I search for Elementor like this, free, and you will see these tools called Elementor Header and Footer Builder. So you're going to click on install over here. And once you click on install, click on activate. Now you want to activate both Shop Lentor and you also want to activate Elementor Header and Footer. Then you can go into the settings of these plugins. You will see all templates. You can see their about us page as well. Now you're going to click on add new and you can add a, um, you know, footer design. And I'll just add the basic info. 
Now I can choose my menu title and click on select option and I want to add a header. Now I want to have this for my entire website and then after my user roles I want this to be displayed for all users. Then I want to just click on publish on the top right and then I'll click on edit with Elementor over here. Once I do that, I should be able to access the header sections even without upgrading Elementor. And you're usually going to find this at the bottom. At the bottom, you will see your navigation menu. And I'll show you guys how to access this on a standard page. To do that, just click on exit, go into pages, or just go directly into your visit site section. Click on edit with Elementor. And you are just going to click on menu over here. Once you click on menu, you will see on the left that uh, you will have at the bottom. So uh, you will see a pro section where it says your menu and stuff is locked. But if you scroll to the bottom, you will see the add on for retina image, copyrights and navigation menu. So drag and drop your navigation menu over here and you can choose the menu that you want to display the last menu item. If you want a button, if you want it to be default, then you can choose your layout. So if you want it to be expanded, if you want it to be a vertical menu, a flyout menu, I'm going to keep a simple horizontal menu. Then we can also add some menu animations, actions on click. So let's say on my actions on click, I want to redirect to self link. If I want this to be responsive, the alignment, the menu icons and the width, then I can also adjust the styling of the item. So let's say I want this to be like this I can also add vertical padding so I can make a wider menu and add more space between items. I'm going to reduce the horizontal padding a little like so. And then we have the link hover effect. If I want it to overline, if I want to double line, if I want to underline the text. Below that, we can also choose the typography by clicking on this pen icon. And once you click on this pen icon, this will give you access to multiple different things, including your font, the font color, as well as the background color for your menu. I don't like to add a background color just to my menu. I prefer to add a complete background color to the section. I like to click on the container and in your container, you can go into styles and to select the container, just click on this pink icon and then click on the background type and you can add color like this towards the entire section and you can select the entire color for it to be displayed for your menu as well. Personally, I'm just gonna leave it blank cause I just think it looks cleaner that way. And below that, I'm going to go back into my menu and you will see that the highlight color is green and I can adjust that as well. For that, I would go back into my style and in my style, I have my background color, text color, and I have underline animations, main menu options. We have the menu triggers and we can add a color for that. So I'll add this pink hue like so. And I can also, you know, add a background color for that. We can also add icon sizes and much, much more. After that, you have your advanced settings, including motion effects, backgrounds, borders, and more. Once completed, click on update on the bottom right. Once I have updated this and I exit into my site or just click on view page, you will see the updated version of our menu will be displayed throughout all of your site pages. All that for free using this simple plugin with Elementor. And if I view other pages, the menu should be applied throughout the entirety of your site like this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.